Hello everyone, I hope you are all well. We are back together today for a comparison video of the full range of Evans double ply snare drum heads. But first of all, I hope you found the previous videos about my new Tamasta Walnut set interesting. If you haven't seen them yet and would like to find out more about my set and how it sounds, I will leave you the links in the description right below. Back to the main topic. I have always wanted to make this new video but only got the chance to shoot recently, and what an opportunity it was. Between the arrival of my new Tama Staphonic Copper Snare Drum and my recent endorsement with Evans Drumheads, I am now in the best position to share this ultimate comparison video. This video is intended to be a sound research, as scientific and accurate as possible, in order to discover the sonic range of all these Evans double ply heads, and of course, to select my favorite one to install on my new snare drum. This could also allow you to make up your mind about which drum head to choose according to your tastes. Before getting to the nitty gritty of the topic, I need to make a quick correction. For those of you who saw my Tamastar One Nut Suncheck video, I told you that this video will compare six different heads. Well, when I really started working on this one, I thought it would be even more interesting to compare the entire Evans range in double ply, so here we go for 13 heads. Just quickly here, I am only focusing on double ply drum heads because I am an extreme metal drummer and I need that sound and durability. But there is of course a wide range of single ply heads that would be perfect for other styles of music and playing. And lastly, the video is going to have some pretty nerdy stuff that may not be interesting to everyone. So I have chaptered this video in the description so that anyone can jump straight to the head of their choice or see the final side-by-side -side comparison directly. If you find this content relevant, feel free to support it by liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Now that you know everything, let's get down to business. Firstly, I would like to tell you about the technology that only Evans offers on the market. Featured on all their drum heads, the Level 360 technology. Drumstone comes from the contact point between the drum head and the bearing edge. The best sound results are obtained when the flat part of the head touches the bearing edge at all points. Before Level 360, some drum heads lay unevenly on the drum. Excessive physical force and tension were required to bring the head into contact with the entire edge. We were used, including me, to crack the glue on the heads when we changed them to force the head to lay properly. But with this Level 360 technology, it is not needed anymore, as it uses a different type of glue. This exclusive technology Evans developed delivers ease of tuning, maximum sustain, extended pitch range, and optimum quality of sound compared to traditional drum heads. Moreover, Evans designed their wall of a hoop in order to provide strength and stability where the film meets the hoop. It ensures a longer life without altering the sound. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned that it would be a comparison as scientific and accurate as possible. Given that we are going to compare 13 heads, it is necessary to quantify the tension of each lug to be able to reproduce the same tension on all the lugs of all the heads. Going even further, I really want to test these 13 heads at three different tensions, to give an idea of how they sound when tuned low, medium and high. I knew that doing it by ear or through a spectrogram would be very time consuming and would not provide the most accurate results. So I decided to test for the first time in my drumming career an accessory that had always made me hesitant about taking the leap, which is a tension watch. And today we will be testing the Tama TW200. This will allow me to adjust the low tuning by ear as I like it, then to fine tune the tension of each of the lugs with this TW200 and to know this tension at the target for all the other heads in their low tuning. I will repeat this step for the medium and high tunings. This will give a real comparison at the same tension so that we can really hear the impact and differences in sound from each of the heads. 
if you would like me to produce a video specifically on how to tune this Tama TW200, please let me know in the comments. Let's now get to the heads themselves. Just before presenting and tuning the heads one by one, I want to tell you about the Evans Icon System Chart. Evans uses a visual code to show which technology and features are present on each model of head in a blink of an eye. Here is the full Icon System Chart. You can see that it is made up with three columns, thickness, treatment, and technology. The thickness part shows whether the model is one or two ply. As you understood, we are going to focus on all the double-ply snare drum heads in the Evans range. The treatment section tells us which material, coating or construction is used for the surface of the head. This will affect the sound texture. Some will have greater attack, some wider and more open sound, some warmer tone or even greatest durability. Finally, the technology section indicates if some add-ons are used on the heads to sculpt and complete the sound of each model. All these details can be found on the sound profile of each head, either on the Evans website or directly on the original box. On the sound profile, you will find the sound icons, an indication of the style of music recommended for ideal use of the chosen model, and the sound profile based on various criteria. The four criteria are attack, sustain, tone, and durability. The attack is graded from balance to define. The more defined the attack, the more powerful the transient. The sustain is rated from short to long. The longer the sustain, the more resonant the sound. The tone is graded from dark to bright. The brighter the tone, the wider the spectrum. The durability is rated from average to extended. The more extended the durability, the stronger the head. In my experience, I am more attracted to a sound profile with a well-defined attack, shorter sustain, a rather dark tone, and of course, extreme durability. But I am not against discovering other sound textures. Who knows, I might be surprised during this research. As of the starting point, I am going to use the Tama Staphony Copper Snare. As the Rizzo head, I will use the Evans Snare Side 500, and not the original Evans Snare Side 300. The Snare Side 500 is made of a 5mm single ply and is designed to produce a dark, throaty sound best suited for deep drums and heavy performances. Exactly what I'm looking for. Its tension won't change during this whole comparison. The snare I used is the one originally mounted on the snare, which is a Tama 20 strands wires. Same as the razor head, I won't touch its tension to let this comparison precise and as scientific as possible. All the sound examples you will hear will be recorded through different microphones. A Shure Beta 57 is used for the snare top. A Shure SM57 on the snare bottom. A stereo pair of Shure SM81 for overheads. All the mix are recorded through the preamps of my Universal Audio Apollo X8B without any emulation, just the clean preamp. No processing will be done other than a level balance to get a clear idea of the raw sound. This balance will not change throughout the video so that the loudness of each head can be compared. Now that we all know the basics and how to read the characteristics of Ivan's head, I have decided to sort the 13 heads from least to most extreme. Let's start now with the first one. The Evans G2 is the classical Evans 2-ply snare head. It can be used also on Tom's batter. Here is its sound icon and profile. The G2 is made of 2-ply of 7mm for a total thickness of 14mm. The head is coated and is ideal for rock and gospel music. Following its own profile, its attack is rather balanced, its sustain is average, its tone fairly brilliant, and its durability average. From its description, we can expect a very versatile sound with a balanced attack and a bright tone. Let's now test this G2 with a tension of 80 on the TW200 for its low tuning. The Rizzo head will always have the same tension, which is 90.
Let's switch to the mid-range tuning of this same head. The tension of this medium tuning is 85. Finally, let's move on to the high tuning of this head. The tension of this high tuning is 90. Next head is the EC Reverse Dot, which is one of the first heads made for heavy music I used when I started out. The EC Reverse Dot is made of two ply. The outer one is 7mm and the inner one is 10mm. The head also features a 3mm Reverse Dot to add extra durability, focus and attack in the center. The head has a total thickness of 20mm in the center. The head has a frosty treatment for a translucent textured coating and is ideal for metal, rock and gospel music. It also features the Sound Shaping Technology, or SST, which removes muddy mid-range overtones and leaves a clean and crisp tone. Following its sound profile, its attack is rather balanced, its sustain is average, its tone average and its durability pretty extended. From its description, we can expect an extra durability and a focused and warm tone. Let's not waste any time and get straight onto testing this second head in the three different tunings with the exact same tension of those three. The third head is the ST, which I never had the chance to use, so it is getting exciting. ST stands for Super Tooth. The ST is made of two ply of 7.5 mm for a total thickness of 15 mm. The head is coated and is ideal for metal and gospel music. Following its sound profile, its attack is pretty defined, its sustain is average, its tone average, and its durability pretty extended. From its description, we can expect an extra durability a full bend with rimshot sound, an enhanced attack, and a moderate sustain.
Next in line, the ST Dry. Exactly the same characteristics as the ST. Same 15mm thickness. Same coated treatment, but the dry means there is the addition of dry vents. Those are precision drilled holes around the perimeter. It is the same sun profile as the ST, with the difference that the sustain is shorter. From its description, we can expect reduced overtones, lessened sustain, and moderate brightness. Then comes the HD. HD stands for heavy duty. The HD is made of two ply. The outer one is 5 mm and the inner one is 7.5 mm. The head also features a 2 mm control ring in the underside of the head to eliminate stray overtones. The head has a total thickness of 12.5 mm at the center and 14.5 mm on the outline. The head is coated and is ideal for rock and metal music. Following its sound profile, its attack is pretty defined, its sustain is shorter, its tone bright, and its durability is moderate. From its description, we can accept a more defined attack, a short sustain, and a moderately bright tone. The next one is the HD Dry. Just as the ST and ST Dry, the HD Dry has the same characteristics and features as the HD, but dry vents are added. It is the same sound profile as the HD, but this time the tone is a little bit darker than the HD. The sustain doesn't seem to be reduced that much seeing the profile. From its description, we can accept a slightly defined attack, a shorter sustain and less brightness than the standard HD.
Let's talk about the UV2 I already know and used for more than two years. The UV2 is made of two ply of 7 mm for a total thickness of 14 mm. The head has a UV coating, creating superior impact resistance and guarantees tonal integrity throughout its unprecedented lifespan. It is ideal for rock and metal music. Following its own profile, it is the same as the HD Dry but with an extreme durability. From its description, we can expect a prominent attack, a shorter sustain, and an enhanced durability. The following head is the Heavyweight. The Heavyweight is made of two ply of 10 mm and has a 3 mm reverse dot for a total thickness of 23 mm at the center. The head is coated and is ideal for rock and metal music. Following its own profile, its attack is defined, its sustain is shorter, its turn pretty bright, and its durability is extreme. From its description, we can expect an incredible durability, a defined attack, and a short sustain. There is also a dry version of the previous head. Let's get now to the heavyweight dry. I never tried this head, but it really looks interesting. It has all the same features as the heavyweight, but with the dry vents and a UV coating just as the UV2. Following its own profile and compared to the heavyweight, it has a more balanced attack and a slightly darker tone. From its description, we can expect an excellent durability, compressed attack, reduced overtones, and the dampened sustain.
This next head is the one I have been using the most in my drumming career. If you watched some of my videos, you should already know this hybrid head. This hybrid head is not a two-ply, but I really had to have it on this comparison, as it is one of the most used head for metal and the most durable head I have used. It is fascinating to know that this head was originally made for marching snares. This head is made of one single ply of aramid fiber, which is a rare resistant texture which can easily be compared to Kevlar. It is a total thickness of 14 mm. The head is coated with a frosted effect on the fiber and is ideal for metal and gospel music. Following its own profile, its attack is very defined, its sustain is very short, its tone darker, and its durability is the most extreme. From its description and my experience, I know this head has a great sensitivity, a broad dynamic range, an exceptional durability, and a very strong attack. Very recently, Evans released the hybrid in black. And as I love this head, I had to have it in black. But surprisingly, when I received it, I discovered that it wasn't just the hybrid coded I know in black, but a very different head in many ways. It is still made of one single 14 min ply of the same armored fiber, but this time, this hybrid black is uncoded and has a brilliant finish. Following its own profile and comparing it to the hybrid one, its attack is extremely defined, its sustain is a bit longer, its tone is much brighter, and its durability is as extended. From its description, we can accept great sensitivity, a broad dynamic range, an exceptional durability, and a very detailed attack. A very bright tone and a little bit more sustain compared to the original hybrid. Let's discover it together. The second to last head is the Onyx. The Onyx is made of two ply of 7.5 mm for a total thickness of 15 mm. The head is frosted with a mate black finish and is ideal for rock and metal music. Following its own profile, its attack is defined, its sustain is shorter, its tone dark, and its durability is very extended. From its description, we can expect an increased low end response, a powerful attack, and a short sustain.
Last but not least, this head is the most extreme thing in sound profile. Let's talk about the hydraulic. The hydraulic is made of two ply of 7 mm for a total thickness of 14 mm. Only the hydraulic black version is made with a 6.5 mm and a 7.5 mm ply. This head has a thin layer of oil between the two ply, giving us the fat, deep, short sound originally used by rock and roll drummers in the 70s. Following its sound profile, its attack is very defined, its sustain is the shortest, its tone the darkest, and its durability is very extended. From its description, we can expect suppressed unwanted overtones, a defined attack, and this head is known to be easy to tune. When I was testing and recording all these heads in all these different tunings, I really felt that some heads needed to be tightened a little bit more to really shine and have that explosive and tight sound. That is why I decided to add an ultra-high tuning set at 95 on the TW200 to let you hear how they each sound with a very high pitch. Let us discover how this head sounds in this extreme tuning and I will come back wrapping up the video.
after testing the whole range of Evans double ply snare drum heads, I personally prefer the Evans Hybrid Black in its ultra high tuning on this Tama Staphonic copper snare. I know it sounds like an extreme choice, but I like the very dry character of this head with its extremely powerful attack, while retaining a good bass presence, even though the head is very tightened. What's more, the rebound provided by this head is enormous, helping with fast blast beats. And I think that for the future Pearson Snare Wires video, comparing eight different models, having a dry snare drum tone can really help us realize just how much the wires react to the main impact, giving it a primordial place sonically. So be sure to follow me to keep up to date with new releases. I am going to keep this sound sample speciously for reference in my videos as well as for future productions as the need arises. I will now leave you with a side-by-side -side comparison of each head in the same tuning to get a clear idea and this time without any talking between takes. Tell me which head and which tuning you prefer from all these examples. Have you been surprised by a model that you didn't expect to sound that good? Or, on the contrary, has a model disappointed you compared to your expectations? I look forward to hearing from you in the comments so that we can discuss all this together. One last thing you might not know. Do not forget to check all your data your boxes. There is a code inside so that you can collect player sickle points. With these points, you will be able to order even zoom heads or any data your products directly on their website. See you in the next video. Cheers.